Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking foot miss day three today, looking at some possible SBCs that we could see, a little bit of a foot miss prediction video, and also talking about what cards um, came out today on foot, looking a, a day backwards, talking about the market movements that happened today, but also again, looking forward to foot miss day three, some of the predictions that we could see uh, because of that. And I'm actually going to start with those predictions, start off the bat and look and see what we could get from um, the SBCs today on FIFA Ultimate Team. So first of all, the nationality that we're getting today, as they're counting up from the first ranked men's national team in the world right now, up to 12. Number one was obviously Belgium. Number two today was France. And number three, uh, actually today, number two yesterday was France. Number three is Brazil. So we were getting a Brazil player SBC today, along with the other SBC being the 10th placement, counting down from 12, so 12, 11, 10. Uh, the 10th place finisher in the top five leagues last year. So today we will get a Brazilian SBC. We will also get an SBC from West Ham, De Porto Alaves, Dusseldorf, Stade Rene, or Bologna. Uh, so one of these five teams will have an SBC player today on the game. Now, from what we've seen so far the past couple of days, um, the from these teams, they haven't been doing like the Prem teams. We got Bundesliga today and Luka, ba Luka Bakio. We're going to talk about that SBC in a bit. And then the day before that, we got um, Moses Simon from La Liga, right? So we've had La Liga and we have had Bundesliga represented so far. So I would expect that out of the three leagues today um, that we would get a Prem Ligue 1 or Serie A SBC today for the countdown of the placement in the their leagues, right? So either West Ham, Stade Rene, or Bologna, I think is where we'll get the SBC from today because they usually rotate through all the leagues before they come back. So that's something that they have done in years past. I'm honestly thinking they might drop a West Ham SBC today. There's definitely some possibilities where they could put, you know, maybe a maybe a Declan Rice or uh, Felipe Anderson, or uh, for one from West Ham. There's definitely some options there. Stad Rene, there's a couple guys. Not really sure about Bologna, but this is a really nice uh, table setup here from uh, Patrick at Simple Blue 88 on Twitter. This is his handle right here. If you want to check him out. Um, he does a lot of cool graphic stuff, and he has put this table together. And we're going to be looking at back on this uh, multiple times in the next few days. Now, the other SBC that we're going to be getting is Brazilian as well. So uh, the Brazilian SBC, I mean, the sky's the limit on this SBC. Again, big nationalities. I mean, Juan Jesus right there that I was looking at, he could very easily get an SBC. A lot of these people that have gotten SBCs so far this year, though, have not had any special cards. Witzel and then today, um, Malque have not gotten any special cards yet this year. I'm thinking that Gabriel Jesus, since they haven't dropped really an attacker SBC from the main count up of, of nationalities yet, has not. we haven't had any attackers from those. We've had a midfielder and a right back. I think Gabriel Jesus would be a prime candidate for a footmas SBC. I think a lot of people would go and do this card. Brazilian striker, Man City, a lot of links already. I mean, you might see guys like Sterling, guys like uh, Mares uh, rise because of an SBC like this. Of course, if it is priced correctly and if it is priced uh, well and correct for what the card is based on its upgrade. And for the upgrade so far, it looks like they've been getting giving like kind of like in-form upgrades. Um, so maybe if this 82 would go to an 85 possibly, I think, right? Or an 84. 82s go to 84s. Um, you might see uh, a decent upgrade because if you imagine him going from an 82 to an 84, I mean, he might have somewhere around 87 pace, 83 shots, 75 passing, uh, 89 dribbling, and then like 70-something defense. So this could be a, lot, a card that a lot of people would be interested in. 90 agility and 90 balance as well. He probably feels really good in the game. Three-star weak foot is not ideal. Four-star skills, though, would make him fun. So this might be an SBC that we could see today. I would I would find that SBC to be uh, a really good option for that one. Uh, and then another Brazilian that we could get. I've heard a couple people mentioned Marcelo. Marcelo could be one. Uh, the left back, Marcelo. And also, there's been rumors that Douglas Costa could be the SBC of choice. But all the rumors that I've heard so far have not turned out to be true. So uh, even if Douglas Costa... If he does get an SBC, you know, sweet, cool. I would like to see the boost on that card. It could be decent. Three-star weak foot, though, you know, doesn't is not ideal, right? Five-star skills is, makes him a cool card. But uh, again, it just depends on the upgrade and the price of the SBC, how EA values that card, depending on uh, whether we want to do it or not. That's really what it comes down to 
in this market uh, for that. And then again, West Ham, I think there's definitely some possibilities that West Ham uh, gets an SBC today for the countdown of the position where they finished in their league. Even a Cresswell SBC would be interesting. But I think Felipe Anderson, he actually has a dual shot today. Could get in for the Brazilian SBC. Could get in for the uh, West Ham position finish. And if this guy got an SBC card, I think a lot of people would go and do it. Because going from an 84 to an 86, he would break a lot of barriers on his card. So he would break over 90 pace. I think they would give him 80 shooting. He would be over 80 passing and he would be over 90 dribbling. So that would make people very interested in this card. Four star, four star is good. He's got really good agility and balance, solid stamina. If you imagine like a plus three, plus two, three and four boosts across this card um, and you make that SBC somewhere around like maybe 150K, I think a lot of people might go out and do that. Uh, for this type of Felipe Anderson. People use this card a lot early on in the game. So I do think it's possible that he gets a SBC today. I'd be kind of, I'd be a fan of a Felipe Anderson. I probably wouldn't do it, but there's a lot of people out in this game that would, and it would cause a lot of uh, market movements around left wings in the Prem um, and other Brazilian linking options to him that we could possibly invest in and make some coins off of. So I'm pretty hyped and pretty stoked for that one right there but now that's kind of our prediction segment we start with the prediction type stuff what we could see today i want to talk about what happened on the markets on to on saturday sorry i want to talk about the saturday market movements and what happened today on the market of course we got these two sbcs today it was basically all of our content these two footmas sbcs and a footmas challenge sbc um this luke bayo sbc however you say his name Doty. uh this sbc is kind of doo-doo man I mean, I don't know what EA is really thinking here, but according to Flippin right now, uh, SBC fodders are actually pretty cheap. And this SBC comes in around 155,000 coins. It's literally three different squads for this card. It's not even that great of a card. Probably, I mean, it's it's not bad, but are people going to actually use him? I really don't think so. I don't think anybody did this SBC today unless you're like a Hertha fan. Uh, but for the mass FIFA population, I doubt people did that SBC today. And then Kelvin, Kevin Malqui, uh, I want to take you over to Footbit or Foot FIFA to look at his card. Comes at about 126k right now, which is not bad. I mean, he's French and he's on Napoli, so he gives you uh, some green links. A nice, he can basically uh, completes a triangle that was hard to complete before, right? With Koulibaly and with. Allen. Road to the final, Allen just got an upgrade. Cool Bali just got a team of the group stage card. So there's probably a lot of people that want to use this card in their teams or people that wanted to get like a solid, good French right back in their squads. And this guy, he's a really good looking card, man. High medium work rates for 122,000 coins. It's honestly not that bad. You probably would throw an anchor on him to boost the defending and the physical, but it looks like a really solid card. So if you guys are still looking to do this, um, I would do it before, I would do it. You know, if you're running a French team, if this guy is good enough to be in your squad and you're fine putting 120K into this card, or you can do it with some untradeables for less than 100K, then maybe you go for it, right? All it requires is one 86 rated squad and a French player, I believe. Yes, 86 rated squad, 65 chemistry, one French player. If there's any SBC today that was good, it was this one. Uh, but that was the only one SBC today that I thought was like decent. Uh, and I do think a decent amount of people did this. Just because there's a lack of French right backs and a lack of Serie A right backs in this game. Now we did just get Quadrado, but this is definitely a better card than Quadrado, and he links better to uh, the OP players, uh, Koulibaly and Allen inside of the Serie A. Then there's this Footmas Challenge SBC, and this might be the craziest like pack supply SBC that we've ever had in this game. This SBC is actually very very hard to do. Um, if you don't have first owner cards in your club, you, I think some people are saying you have to have loyalty. Some people were saying you don't, but it's just honestly hard to complete to get the 90 chemistry. You have to have three maximum three players from the same nation and every person in the squad has to be of a different club, right? So only max one player from each club with exactly six different leagues. So you have to do some linking with nationalities and this caused a ton of of, of card prices to go crazy high today. I think if you actually still look on uh, on the market, there's a lot of cards that went up today that were um, from good nationalities, but off leagues, right? I remember seeing some Argentinians today that went up a ton. There was people paying nine, 10,000 coins for some of these off uh, like left wings, right wings, and right backs. Like this guy right here, Saravia from Porto. There's a bid on him for 1,900 coins right now. 
uh, and is, is a buyout for 4K. So some of these cards are really inflated. If you haven't checked your clubs, I definitely would. So there's some even strikers and goalkeepers and stuff like that that are selling still for over like 2,000 coins. So uh, there's a lot of good like sniping filters right now as well. If you can go onto the game and look and see like which players are inflated in price. Uh, if you can look through some SBC solutions maybe and see what some of those players are or look through your club at least and try to get some of these players sold. Um, like how much is this guy right here? Getting bids of like, no, there's a buy now of 1900. But right when the SBC dropped today, there were some of these cards that were selling for crazy, crazy amounts. Um, like all, all these good leagues, man, honestly, like France, Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Netherlands. I sold some cards today from those, those leagues, just going through my club and looking at what was inflated. Uh, but that's one of the hardest pack supply SBCs I think that we have ever gotten, which was crazy to think about, uh, but it, it definitely was. Other things that happened on the market today, there were no promo packs, um, but the the special items, um, these new team of the year um, nominee cards were still supplied a decent amount through, I mean, they're still putting 100K packs and 50K packs in the store. They're just not uh, being opened at the rate that lightning rounds would be just because uh, they're just not lightning rounds. But I still think people are opening these packs. And these cards are, I mean, they're low in price, but they get kind of rare overnight, man. Uh, these cards are very, very good and very easy to trade with because they fluctuate a lot, especially overnight. They drop during the daytime. Uh, like yesterday, this Allison card during the daytime, like 6 p.m. UK, it was the first day that they came out. Uh, Friday when they came out, he went down to like 80,000 coins, a hundred, actually not 80. He was like a hundred K, maybe like some snipes at 80. Uh, and then he almost went extinct at 150 on Saturday morning. Now today he was back down to around a hundred, 110 K, um, earlier this afternoon around the 6 PM content drop. And he has now since rebounded up to 125, 130 for most of his cards. I bought a couple of those at like 115 and I'm getting sales at 130 because these cards are hard to find on the market again, man. Uh, I flipped a lot of Koulibaly's today. I will be completely honest and straight up with you guys there. I flipped a ton of these cards today. It was a massive day on the market for me with this guy right here. Uh, so I put a minimum buy now at 50, maximum buy now at 80, and I actually do the chem style, the shadow, uh, because I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this later, but it's actually insane trading with these guys with chem styles, man. Trading with chem styles on these new cards is incredible incredible profit because right now this cool Bali card without a shadow is selling for like 50 something k or like 60 000 coins right but he's going for 73 with a shadow so a lot of times i've sat here at the 59th minute and just refreshed either searched this way by checking my transfer search my transfer targets and then backing back out this is one way you can snipe and check prices um is pressing triangle uh okay so those weren't any good deals right there so pressing triangle or y and then uh, backing back circle or B to go back into the, the transfer market is a way that it actually refreshes the market. So I'll sit here for maybe a minute or so and see if we have any pop up. But this is a way that I made a lot of coins today because I knew there was demand for the new uh, Malakui card. And a lot of people were probably going to go grab the um, new Team of the Year nominee version of Cool Bali or his Team of the Group Stage. So I sat here and I, I'm not kidding you guys. I probably traded 20 different Cool Bali's today. I probably had an average buy price on them at about 65,000 coins, and I sold them all for 80 to 85K. Um, I made a ton of money on these cards today. I'm thinking I'm probably made somewhere around like, what is that? Per card, that's probably, you know, 15,000 coins a card on average. And I did it for with, with 20 of them. So do the math there in your head. My head can't do it at the moment. But that was, uh, what is that? Like 300,000 coins profit, maybe? It was, it was really, really good. And I did that in a span of about an hour and a half to two hours. So... That was awesome to be able to trade with these. But I've made some other coins tonight, trading with chem styles with these other uh, cards as well. This Fabinho right here, I bought at 63,000 coins, sold them on a, a bid of 69.5. This Wijnaldum, I bought them for 43,000 coins with a shadow, sold for 60K with a shadow. There's some huge price discrepancies with the uh, chem style trading on these. As you can see, I have another Wijnaldum. I bought this at 47, I think. I have it listed for 57.5 at the moment as well. Some Allison's that I'm flipping and then Sterling I'm flipping as well. So if you want to mess with these cards again, I think I'm going to take a different approach on Sunday when we're looking at these cards because they're going to get packed with squad battle rewards. So I think that I might be taking a look at these cards um, after squad battle rewards on Sunday night and possibly seeing what happens with them 
in terms of um, the pack weight, how much they get packed, and maybe trying to hop on some open bids. It's honestly been really hard to get on bids for a lot of these cards. I haven't really found them to be super duper su successful uh, because a lot of people are trying to find these cards and one way they can find them is just on bids. So the bids end up usually going higher than um, some of the actual buy it nows do because people can only find these cards on bid. So they just bid it up until they get the card, right? So I do see that pretty often. You see some wine albums at 56, 57 with the shadow, but without the shadow chem style, he is right around the 40, he's like 40,000 coins without the shadow. 42K? Yeah, so he's right around 40K without the shadow. So that's why you see a huge opportunity to trade with these cards, right? 40K with the shadow, somebody buys him with it, puts a shadow on it, plays a few games and sells it and they sell it for like 45K, right? Uh, and then, you know, but he actually with that shadow sells for like 50 or 60,000 coins. Uh, so more, that's that's chem style trading basically in itself. So, but that makes uh, these cards very, very good to chem style trade with because they're rare. Again, the cards that do the best for me, we just got another sale, by the way, who's this? I just sold something, but why is it not updating then? Why is it not updating? Oh, I sold an Allison, there it was. I sold an Allison. I sold an Allison for 130,000 coins, G freaking G. And again, as you see these cards get down to like the last couple minutes of their listings, like these are three minutes left. Allison, the cheapest one on the market, is actually like 120,000, 125, 123. Uh, but you can lazy list these like five to 10K above their lowest bin because they're hard to find on the market with the UCL cards. It just kind of makes it a pain to find a lot of these. So let's look at Allison again. Allison's minimum on the other version is like one, it's like 90 or something thousand coins. To filter those out, I'm putting a minimum buy it now so that they, those don't show. And yeah, as you can see, Allison's actually 118,000 coins right now at the moment on the 59th minute. But um, because people can't really find them, they're just buying them as they almost like compare price on the card or just try to find them. And that's how you can get some sales, right? So if you compare price on Allison, you see a lot of 140s, 150s, boom, there's a 130. They probably saw mine and they bought it because it was right there and it was a lot less than the 140s and the 150s. Uh, the best cards to trade with out of these are like Allison or even Sterling I would throw in this category where they don't have any special cards in that position. Sterling's team of the group stage is a left wing and Allison's card, he doesn't have any informs or special cards other than his UCL. So that makes people want to use this card a lot. And honestly, people want to use these because they have a dynamic image. It's not much better than the gold card, but it's got the dynamic image and it's a sweet freaking card design. I think that's why a lot of people want to buy these cards and use them so the ones of course like alexandro is a really good one to trade with he was a hundred thousand coins today during the middle of the day and uh later earlier tonight he was right around 127k as a as his buy it now as you can see ooh, 125 so alexandro with a shadow we're gonna have to look at this really quick what does he sell for with a shadow because there's two shadows listed there right at the 59th this could be an opportunity. If he sells for like 150 with a the shadow, then I might be very, very intrigued with this, all right? Let's go see what it is. Let's see what it is. Alexander with a shadow, how much? 140, 125, 132. So I'm gonna watch and see if these sell. It probably will. Without a shadow, I think he's like 120. Is he a little under 120 without a shadow? Yeah, so that's not a crazy, crazy change in price, but it's enough. Uh, or it's close enough that I really don't want to mess with it. I can maybe buy that 125 and sell it for 140, but eh. ah, I don't really know if it sells at 140, so I'm not going to risk it. But, um, you know, these types of cards that don't have any other specials, they fluctuate a lot because people want to try them out, right? And it's better to have, you would rather have this Sandro on your team than the gold one. It's, it just looks cool, right? That's the whole point of these cards because these cards really don't have a point except they're looking cool and they're uh, celebrating, I guess, the fact that they're nominees or whatever, but... They are again in packs for the rest of this week and they're very fun and very easy to trade with. That was the point of me talking about those. And then the rest of the market's day is just freaking low, man. It's literally just freaking low. A lot of people took L's on the market today. I took some losses on cards that I had to take L's on um, and it is what it is, right? But I would, I would recommend for you guys, if you're holding cards that you don't want to take an L on, um, even if it's a card in your team that you don't want anymore and you're just keeping it in your team because you're losing a lot of coins on it, I would recommend that you probably take the coins this week. Again, this, this whole promo, Flipmas promo is full of SBCs and coins suck off the market, right? People turning in and buying SBC fodder for SBCs. So I would say that um, 
just take the loss on those and then you can go and maybe try to trade with whatever coins that you have. Uh, icon trading is, is rough right now. The icon market is low, 73 points. If we look on the daily graph, it was 95 points in early, right after Black Friday, dipped a ton, but it just keeps going down lower as people are, you know, maybe not using some of these icons anymore. Just a ton of panic on the market for all these cards that had come in the game and the footless cards, right? So, I mean, in the panic, I know I've been recommending to a lot of you guys to not really buy anything, to not really invest in anything except for high rateds. I think high rateds right now, we'll take a look at those. By the time you're watching this video, they might be up a little bit. And they are technically up a smidge right now, but 86 is at like 13 or 14K is, is a go. 83s and 84s are pretty cheap. A lot of these 83s are like 1.3K. 85s at seven to eight is real good. 87s at 21K is solid as well. Some of these 88s and 89s stay up higher a little bit because of the, um, the messy SBC requiring a lot of 89s. So you do see that. But if you want to club stock players, it's a green light for me. When we have days like today where the SBCs are just eh, uh, you know, only one of the SBCs was really somewhat doable, and that was Malquay. So um, I would just stay, I'd say that those days are the ones that you want to stock up and do a club stock. Now, you can kind of think about it this way, right? Tomorrow, we're either going to get um, a player from West Ham, Bologna, or Stad Rene, and we're also going to get a Brazilian, right? So when you're club stocking, maybe look through some of these four Brazilians and make those a priority. Paulinho at 3.8K, right? For an 84. I'm going to go stock myself a Paulinho right now since I know I don't have one in my club. I'm going to go stock a Paulinho. Try to get him for under 4,000 coins uh, and see if I can just stock one in my club for tomorrow's SBCs, right? Because I don't know if a Chinese league uh, player will be needed, but a Brazilian probably will be. So I'm going to take this 3,800 for Paulinho, chuck him in the club, and then boom. Maybe if they require a Brazilian tomorrow for that Brazilian SBC, I'm sitting pretty, you know, stuff like that is probably good stuff to invest in. We haven't had many informs required yet. It's just been like high rated squads, but um, I do expect that, you know, the SBCs we've had so far haven't been like super high value players. So I think more SBCs like that could be coming in the future, but a club stock right now is definitely a decent time to do it. I hope that we get good SBCs today. Day three of Footmas, Brazil, and then West Ham, Stad Rene, or Bologna. So I'm excited to see what happens today. Uh, hopefully some other Sunday content as well. Hopefully an easier pack supply SBC, please EA, like make a little bit easier than, uh, than this 90 chemistry footmas challenge SBC. That was kind of a pain in the butt today, uh, to be honest, but, uh, basically that's the content for today, boys. And, uh, hopefully your weekend leagues are going pretty well. Could be a solid team of the week after the games we saw today, depending on who EA wants to throw in, maybe Salah, uh, possibly is one of those, those team of the week members, uh, from, from his game really today. That one sticks off my head right away. I can't really think of any others, but we'll see how the Sunday games go. And of course, we'll be ready for the Market Outlook video tomorrow on Monday. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.